in yourself. You have to believe in your ability. You are capable of anything. You can achieve any dream. Please don't limit yourself. Don't live your life limited. It's not all sadness and misery. Life's a challenge, but you will succeed. Take control of how you feel. In every circumstance, work on yourself daily. Your story's far from done. The best is yet to come. If you must believe, you can live out all your dreams. Here you'll make it through. What you need is all in you. You believe you will achieve. You can live out all your dreams. It's the time you knew the truth. You got to live out all in you. You have to believe in yourself. You don't have to hide anything. You can be a true self. Don't need to fall. Hey guys, so welcome to tonight's Power Hour. I hope that everybody is fit and well and healthy and safe. So I want to bring some fun tasks to you tonight, some positivity because there's so much going on in the world right now and I think that we need to be a little rays of sunshine as much as we can, bring some positivity to the world with everything that's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with writing down our affirmations and once you've done your affirmations we are then going to write down a few things that you're grateful for. So that is the first task and then we're going to get into it. We've then got my mum coming on to give a task and then we've got Frankie coming on to do a couple tasks and then we've got Wendy coming on at the end as well. So it's really, really exciting. And I'll put the music back on whilst we do our affirmations and our gratitudes. When it works. This is slow.
Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is going to get on with the next task. So, what I don't know who's ready first, Mum or Frankie, although it doesn't matter to give the next task. Okay, I'm going to go first then. Go, Mum. So, can you hear me? Yep. Who's excited? Woo! I am. So, um, before I start this task, um, I just really want to say that we are in a really, really tough time for everyone. And for me, what I'm going to do is I am going to offer my audience some amazing value over the next few days, few weeks, few months, however long this goes on for. I want my audience to feel they can come to me and you need to create this in your own, on your own audience. Um, I want to be going live. I want to be given value. I want to be a place for my audience to come and hang out. Because I believe that it's going to be tough times um, right now. But people need to feel a belonging of something. And I think if they can come to my Facebook, your Facebook, on, in your circumstances... And I can, um, I'm going to try and do some in-home workouts. I'm going to try and do some live cooking. Um, uh, I'm going to do some um, chatting, all that sort of thing. So I want to form a place on my Facebook for others to come and hang out. Um, and I love to you guys to feel like you can do the same. Obviously, some of you are working. Um, you are still not, um, not, not working yet. So if and when that you are and you're finding that you're able to do something similar, then please, please take on that sort of um, role that we can offer people. Because I'm not going to say it on my Facebook, but I'm afraid to say mental health and suicides and all of those sort of things are going to be on the rise because people are so worried about what's going on. Um, and I just want us to all be there for our audiences because if we're there for our audiences now giving them amazing value you can guess what's going to happen when in a few months time they think wow that was a close shave i need to look after my health from now on because i just escaped it before i'm not letting myself get that low again they're going to come to you and also if they feel that they wish they'd have been working at home and they see what you're doing and what you're offering, they're going to come to you because they're going to realise the importance of Plan V is so much more. So I don't, it's not going to happen straight away, but I do think it's going to happen when all this is over and we need to be there to pick up the pieces because we've helped them along this journey. So that's all I really want to say about that. I don't know if um, whether you lot feel the same, um, but that's what I'm feeling about it anyway. And we've got to give our people somewhere to come and hang out because I think that's just an awesome idea. So my first task, guys, is I want you to go to, um, if you've watched the Zoom call that Amy, Frankie and I did about um, the introduction, your introduction message, I want you to go and find your introduction message. And I want you to go to your most recent and I want you to send those out, those messages out for about five minutes um, with the group link at the bottom that you're adding them to or you're offering the, the, the value in. So if you can don't do that for five minutes, I'm sure Anne will put the music on or something. Um, if you've already done that today or you don't know what I'm talking about, then go and get yourself adding lots of people between now, as many as you can, your tribe, between now and the next five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Key that music. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to put a song on. It's kind of funny, but I love it, really. And I think that in a time that we're going through right now, we need to focus on what we're grateful for. So here we go. Don't laugh. <laughs> We can't hear. We can't hear. You got it on silent. <laughs> Gratitude to the right. Gratitude to the Gratitude to the lonely. Gratitude within me. 
gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. 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 Gratitude before me. Gratitude behind me. Gratitude to the left of me. Gratitude to the right of me. Gratitude above me. Gratitude below me. Gratitude within me. Gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. 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 Gratitude before me, before gratitude behind me, gratitude to the left of me, oh, gratitude to the right of me, to the right of me, gratitude above me, above me, gratitude within me, gratitude all around me. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, 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 I'm so Finding the message really working well. I know that some of you diamonds that we met up with last week love this and already getting amazing results from it. So hopefully you're all loving it. And if anybody needs any extra help with that, if you're not sure with the introduction message that Mum's talking about that we are doing, then um, let us know and we can help you with that. So Mum, was there anything else you wanted to say before we move on to Frankie? No, 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 no. Was it really? Awesome. I just, what was that face? Uh, I got, I got, I got, I got Okay. I just want to say, just before I bring Frankie on as well, like adding on to like what mum said as well, I just think it's super important time right now to obviously be working on ourselves and our mindset and staying strong and confident and certain in what we're doing and what we're offering. And just remember that, you know, 
now is the time that people, you know, are going to be wanting to look into their health and invest into their health. And like John said on the call on Monday, there's going to be two different types of people out there. Or, if, you know, there's going to be people out there that are going to be just, um, you know, getting the beers in, watching Netflix, whatever they want to do. But then there's going to be another type of person that's going to go, oh my God, like, right, you know, now's my time. I really need to look after myself. I really need to, you know, get on some healthy products. I need to start eating healthier. I'm going to start to exercise. I'm going to start to do some meditation, all of that sort of stuff. I'm going to read books. So there's different types of people. And just remember that, you know, people, you know, some people might have savings. So don't just write off the fact that, oh, okay, no one's going to be able to buy the products, no one's going to be able to afford it, because like I say, that just don't, don't, don't have a preconceived idea because you just don't know. And like I say, there are going to be people out there that are going to be knowing that this is the time to invest into their health, but we need to go out there and be confident and certain of what we're offering and don't feel ashamed or guilty of it. Be proud of it. You know, it's not like this has happened and now, oh, all of a sudden you're now promoting health products. Like you've been doing this for a longer time anyway. So you know, don't worry about that. Like, just be proud of what you're offering. And just, you know, what I'm waking up and thinking to myself every single day is who can I help today? Because that really is what it comes down to is who you're going to help. And then obviously with the business opportunity as well, a lot of people are going to be out of work. You know, I mean, I was watching the news the other night, there's dancers, people that work in the West End that are out of work. They normally do like PT or, um, gym classes on the side, like yoga classes on the side, freelance to make an extra income. And that's all stopping as well now. So, you know, this lady on the news was literally like, I'm literally going to go home and I can't work. So those sorts of people are going to be looking for an income guys. And we have something that can truly help them. So just don't forget that. Don't forget that we have something that can truly help people be proud of what we offer. Um, and if you need to work a bit on your mindset right now, and then that's what you need to go and do and work on that daily because, um, you know, we need to just pull together and remember that what we have to offer people is truly amazing and to not shy away from that. So we have to continue like normal with business and show up like we normally would and just go out there and help people. So Frankie, I'll hand over to you now, my lovely. You can give your, you've got a couple of tasks, haven't you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I've got an echo. Ooh, I've got an echo. I mean, have I got an echo for anyone else? Oh, it's gone now, I think. <laughs> okay, cool. So, guys, next task. So, like, kind of leading on from what Amy said, like, uh, the last couple of days, I've struggled a little bit just with being online because I'm a bit of like a hypochondriac. So, <laughs> this type of stuff is not good for me. Um, and I wasn't working from home so while I was sitting in London I was getting really like stressed and anxious and like seeing all the negativity online was just yeah not nice um, but I'm now actually working from home thank god um, and I'm literally now just back doing what we're doing guys like showing up being a product of the product being positive because we're going to get remembered during this horrible time for those you know for being those people who are really really positive um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just getting back to my normal routine, not letting this get me down and staying healthy and looking after myself, both physically and mentally as well, like Amy said. So um, next task, I would like you all to do a direct product post. So what this means, guys, is reaching out to people, asking them, like say you're looking for people to achieve a particular result. So for example, it could be, um, I'm looking for five girls, five mums, five ladies, whoever your kind of like tribe is, um, who want something. So that could be who want more energy, who want to drop a dress size, who wants to take part in our energy challenge, who wants to take part in our fat loss booster challenge, or maybe, you know, drop up to a stone, whatever it is, whatever kind of angle you normally um take or whatever are your favorite products perhaps let's do a direct post um like saying to go saying to your audience that you're looking for people to take part in something um put in the chat if you are struggling like with a with a post but you literally would just do i'm looking for five girls who want to have more energy for example 
Um, so let's do that now. You can also um, make the post a colour, so it has like a colour behind it, or you can just leave it um, as words in a post. Um, but yeah, let's crack on and do that now. I'm actually going to hide my video just because I'm going to be on my phone and you'll have literally like my double chin looking at my nose <laughs> if I don't stop my video. So let's spend a couple minutes doing that now. People drift through life with no sense of purpose, no direction, or true joy. They pay no attention to the fact they aren't happy and never address the mindset and choices that led to that unhappiness. But if they did, they might be able to reverse it. Most people have limiting beliefs, and so their life is limited. They believe life is hard. They believe life is a challenge full of sadness and misery. They believe at some level, consciously or subconsciously, their best days are behind them. They believe fitting in and wearing masks will get them a better or easier life than being their true self and following their true passions. Their happiness is dependent on what happens. They are not in control of life. Life is in control of them. If you are able to switch your beliefs about life, each step of empowering beliefs, life will start to work for you. Listen to it here. The joy that is inside you will start rising out. Here are seven beliefs you must have to live a great life. Number one, I decide how I feel, no matter the circumstances. Number two, I have so much to be thankful for. Number three, being myself attracts the right people. Number four, I am capable of anything. Number five, kindness always wins. Number six, I have so much to offer. Number seven, my best is yet to come. Let me go over each one to help you understand them a little. Number one, I decide how I feel, no matter the circumstances. Have you ever noticed how unhappy people seem to get upset over just about anything? If you also notice that they seem to have a lot to be unhappy about, the truth is, they let every little circumstance make them unhappy. Someone cuts them off in traffic and ruins their day. Someone says something unkind. They replay it in their mind for weeks. When you adopt the belief that you are in control over how you feel and you commit to do the daily work on yourself, two things happen. The first is that you become empowered. You know nothing has the power to make you unhappy. Only a fuck. You decide whatever the event means and you choose to see the blessing of everything. You start to attract better circumstances. When you are putting out better energy, better is attracted to you, and you notice more of the magic all around you. Okay. How you feel and How's everyone getting on? Has everyone done their post? Put in the chat what you um, posted about. Um, and don't worry guys, like sometimes you can do a direct post like that and it might feel a bit scary because you might think no one's going to like interact with it. Um, but don't worry about that because sometimes I can put one on, like put one post like that up and get loads of interaction and loads of people message me or like on the post. Um, but sometimes I get nothing and that is i think mainly down to like facebook alg algorithms how much you've posted in the day how much interaction you've had on your post all those uh, on your feed sorry all those factors can um like have an impact basically on the interaction you get on your post so if you do don't get any comments or anything like that today don't worry don't let it put you off doing it again and um, it might just be that there's been like a lack of 
like interaction on your feed today maybe so yeah hopefully you all get um a good response and you get some um likes or some messages and obviously if you do get anyone like your post then you'll need to um drop them a message um and chase that like as we call it um and ask them if they're open to finding out a bit more about what's involved so if you need help with that so say you get some likes and you need to start messaging people but you, you're not quite sure what to say then speak to your upline and they'll be able to help guide you through the messaging um okay so next task um so we tomorrow is thursday so we have our diamond dreamers online event and um, it was going to be in colchester but obviously <laughs> no small gatherings so um we're going to do an online event in the opportunity group and um, so jeanette amy and i will be um running the live into the, or is it a zoom aim a zoom, yeah a zoom call so we'll have the link um, and we'll also live it into the group. So um, this is a great thing to get potentials on guys because we're gonna cover everything for you. We're gonna talk about all the product range and we're gonna go through the business and what's involved in being a brand ambassador. So if you've been speaking to anyone lately about the business and maybe they've not come back to you, now's a really good time to drop them a message to let them know that we've got the call tomorrow and do they fancy um jumping on the call to find out a bit more and um, if you haven't been talking to anyone lately then equally it's another great opportunity to start up some conversations with people and just to get people on the call and um, the calls have really good like success rates in terms of getting customers out of the call or getting team members sign up um i know amy literally had someone watch the opportunity call like last month and they signed up straight away so um it's a really good tool for you guys to tap into especially if you're new um to help um obviously anyone you've been speaking to for them to find out more and to have that social proof as well of other people in the business that are going to share their stories so um yeah the task is going to be to invite four people to tomorrow night's um opportunity call don't worry about mentioning the fact it's a zoom and the links or anything like that now just drop them a message to see if they would be open to checking it out um, and so this could be following up with anyone you've been speaking to or brand new people so i challenge you to actually go out and message four people um, to see if they'd be um open to jumping on and i've got a little message that i'm going to send out so i'll put that in the chat so you're more than welcome to use that or if you've already got a message or your own way of inviting people, then um, obviously do that. But let's all aim for four people, guys. So um, yeah, let's get started. On yourself, so you can start and live every day in a beautiful state. Number two, I have so much to be thankful for. This is pretty easy for anyone to understand. Happy people are happy because they appreciate more than unhappy people. It has been said many times, you can be happy with little or miserable with much. Knowing this, you understand the goal is never to accumulate wealth or things. It's to get to a place where you feel that you have everything because that is all it is, a feeling. Feel blessed and you'll be blessed. Feel blessed and you are blessed. Number three, being myself attracts the right people. One of the greatest tragedies of human beings is that the majority change who they are to fit into the world. They believe being like someone else will make them fit in better with others, be liked by others. But the truth is, you'll never attract the right people by being someone you are not. Be yourself, and the right people for you will show up. The right people will love the real you. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Have the courage to be you, always. Believe and know if you do so, the perfect people in the circumstances show up in your life.
Number four, I am capable of anything. Successful people know with absolute certainty anything they believe can be their reality. Imagine what you could create in your life with the belief, I am capable of anything. Well, you are. So believe it, know it, and apply it to something you want. That dream you have, plan for it, work for it, and go get it. That change you've been putting off, believe you can do it and go for it. Number five, kindness always wins. Some people believe kindness is weakness. They believe kind people get walked over. They'll point to an example from years ago where they gave their heart and soul and that one person trampled all over it. So they adopted the belief that this is what happens every time they are kind. If someone tripped you over once while you were walking, you wouldn't let that person stop you from walking with you. It's not the walking that made you trip over. It was the unkind person. In life, yes, some people will do you wrong, but that doesn't mean you throw everyone into the same basket. You be kind because that's who you are, not because you want something out of it, like a transaction. Who do you think kind people are attracted to? Other kind people or those who refuse to be kind because they were hurt by someone else long ago? Who do you think amazing people love to be around? Those who are kind and genuine are those who are closed off. Do good by others. Treat others how you want to be treated. Not because you want something from them, but because you know the world is a little better every time someone like you does good, no matter how small. Number six, everything is a blessing or a lesson. We've all been through hard times, every one of us. Some people who have been through minor hard times believe that their life is far less because of the event. Others who have been through pure hell believe at some level it was sent as either a lesson or a blessing. Think of the survivors of diseases or abuse. They go through the worst kinds of pain, but because of that pain, they rise out of it with a new passion for life. They rise out of it with a sense of purpose, wanting to help others who are going through the same pain. You can learn from your past. You can use it. Believe it was set to make you stronger, better, and more compassionate. Believe there was a reason for it. Number seven, my best is yet to come. What would you attempt? What could you achieve if you knew your best was yet to come? Well, guess what? Your best is yet to come. Look yourself in the mirror every morning and tell yourself, my best is yet to come. My best is yet to come. Believe it. Live that belief. Hello everyone getting on with that task. Thank you so much for those two amazing tasks, Frankie. That's up ready for the opportunity call tomorrow, which wants to be buzzing for. And by the way, if anybody wants to share their story, get outside their comfort zone, then let us know. We can get you on either tomorrow or a future one, because we'll also be doing it again next Thursday as well, because my NMD meeting is not going ahead anymore. So I will be available to do it. So Wendy, I'll bring you on now. Um, we've only got five minutes left, but I don't know if you had any tasks, a task to give everybody or any tips that you wanted to share. Hi guys. Hi. Hi everyone. Okay, um, yeah, I just, I've made a few notes. I haven't necessarily got tasks, but I just really wanted to, um, just really give it some energy. Um, and I just really want to echo what everyone said on here. I think um, now is the time to care about people. Um, it's about enhancing relationships. It's about reaching out to people. It's not using the situation as an advantage, um, but I just think it's about being open. I think it's being visible as a contributor. And I also think it's about showing what our brand stands for. That's what I'm really passionate about tonight. Obviously, we've got a lot going on with school shutting and stuff. So 
Okay, so things that are working well for me, love the voice notes. I think voice notes are so easy. Um, you know, you can, the fact that you can re-record them now is amazing because I always used to be like either yakking on too much or I'd fluff my words. So voice notes are, I love them absolutely fantastic um, and the intro message so I think I can put my one in the chat but the intro message you know when you've met with a new friend when you've built that little rapport that little relationship sending that message for me has worked so well this week you know people you know looking you know asking to join the Diamond Dreamers Health Club um, offering some value and basically I think what that intro message does is it it wheedles out anyone who doesn't give a shit about health and looking good and feeling great. You're not going to waste your time with these people, you know, because I've spent months and months and months with people and actually they're not really interested. It's not their bag. So if you are straight up from the beginning, your intro message, this is who I am. This is what I do. You know, come, come take a look. So that's worked really well. Voice notes, intro message. Um, second top tip is record your story. Now, what I will say is if you'd have, if we rewind back a year and a half and Jeanette or Amy had said to me, or oh, come and speak on a live, I'd be like, oh no. I mean, not that I've ever been unconfident, but this business helps you grow into you. Um, and you know, I always get a little bit of a, a beating heart if I'm gonna go live or I'm gonna speak in front of anyone, but this builds confidence. And I think, you know, to record your story video, I think makes this business really duplicatable. It means that when someone sends you a message, because we've all been there, when someone sort of says, oh yeah, I'd like to hear more, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I send? What do I send? What do I do? But if you have some simple short videos that you can send to someone, i.e., hi, I'm Wendy, blah, blah, blah. You know, it could be a project one. It could be a business one. You could have seven or eight little videos recorded, you know, just to fit whoever it is you're connecting with. It could be a mum. It could be an older lady. It could be a student. You know, have various ones because, you know, it is about connecting to tribe. But I think if you can have, and I know it's a bit, you know, it's a bit, sometimes we just get a bit nervous about recording ourselves, but just practice, just practice recording a little, you know, two, three minute video, and then you can go on from there and connect. It just gets people to see your face, hear the energy in your voice, as do the voice notes. Um, and I find that works. So if I'm rushed, I'm super busy. If someone says, yes, I'd love to hear more, Wendy, um, I just pop them over my video. So that was um, tip number two. Um, Tip number three really is what I've already spoke about, but it's about giving value. I think it's about giving value. I think it's focusing on the future. I'm quite mindful of the moment. A lot of my tribe are really worrying about school and homeschooling. And, um, you know, it's been a bit of a shock. It was quite emotional, I think, watching Boris tonight on the TV. So I'm quite mindful that I'm just going to give quite a lot of value. I'm doing a lot in Messenger. The millions are made in the Messenger, guys. You know, if you've only got time to post once a day, post once a day, get it up on your stories and get in that messenger, swing the bat. If you invite one person every single day, just one, we can all send one invitation message. That's 30 people in a month. We can all do. So that's my challenge. That's my task for, okay, this week, invite one person every day. Just do it. Just do it. 30 people in a month. And out of that 30 people, you're going to have at least, I would have said three people that are going to come back and say to you, yeah, I'm interested to hear a bit more. And then you go on with your, your video or your voice note or whatever it is. Just got to swing the back, girls. That's it. That's it from me. Woo! Oh, Wendy, I love that. Just swing that back. Woo! <laughs> Oh, amazing. I can feel your energy. It's contagious. But yeah, I agree with everything that you said there. Um, thank you so much for your amazing tips and for your amazing energy tonight. And just thank you everybody for jumping on. Um, the call is going to end shortly, um, right in less than a minute. But what I'm going to do, I just want to, if anyone's got any feedback, I want to do some daily Zooms, some daily power hours, just, you know, I can do training, Zooms, catch ups, whatever through the day. So, you know, but I, I want to know like what works and what fits in with you guys the most at the moment, whether like a lunchtime one or whatever, like maybe let us know in the group chats on Facebook afterwards and, you know, let's stay connected. Let's do this. Obviously I'll see you all on the call tomorrow night. Um, hopefully I'll see you all on a call tomorrow during the day. Um, let's do this guys and stay safe. Big love. Bye. <laughs>